MP, welcome back. Miss Kelleher is waiting for you upstairs. Awesome, thank you. <clears throat> okay, okay, listen. Ooh. So the reason I asked no, you to stop by today, mad. I need you to watch this video. Am I in it, trouble? It's complicated. How, how complicated? Everything's under control, but I want you to watch this and then we'll talk about it. I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan. Thinks he's more into fame than actually hooping. And I got to say, I agree wholeheartedly. You, hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked. If MP starts a game this year, this coach isn't a starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he going to fold under the pressure? If I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are going to need. This airs tonight. I've got a friend at Top Takes Daily sent it over as a favor. <laughs> so you telling me Coach don't want me here? You weren't his first choice, but that's not necessarily a big deal. Oh, and you're sure about that? You know, front offices have varying opinions on prospects all the time. What's important is how you react okay, to so it. Okay, so how do you want me to react, Kristen? Well, that all depends on what you want and what you're willing to do to get it. What do you mean? So you can either wait and see or speed the process up. Um, but everything has drawbacks and benefits. It's not a simple calculation. Okay. Okay, okay. So we wait and see, right? Uh, I put in that work. I stay ready. I show out when yeah, I get an opportunity. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. Play nice. You know, build that vibe. Corporate. You know, I'm a company you just man. Just know that Coach is in no rush to find out if he was wrong. So if you go this route, it might be a while before you see the minutes you and I both know you deserve. And that can affect the league's perception of you. And that can affect the market's perception. And then eventually the bottom line. This yeah. could all go to plan, MP. But those are the risks. Okay, so what if we try to speed all of this up? What does that look like? Go over Coach's head and speak to the GM directly. But doesn't Harvey know everything that's going on behind the scenes? Nah, he lets his coaches coach. That sounds like a dead end to me. No, no, but it does come with risks. Sure, Coach isn't going to like it, but he reports to the GM. So if you can present a solid argument to bump your minutes, it might be able to move the needle. Okay, so what about my brand positioning? What's the hit for a guy who complains about PT this early? Yeah, short term, it'll shape the conversation around you, no question. Some people love a player who speaks up for what he knows is right, and others want you to stay in your lane, listen to coach, not question the organization. There's no right answer. It's up to you how you want to be perceived. Okay, so are there any other options to speed this up? Look, I'm way too good to be riding the bench over some, some organizational disagreement. Always go public. Public how? We have our ways. <laughs> you got a devious side, Kristen. I like that. Well, I'm an agent. It's what we do. Okay, so what, what are we talking? How does What does that look like? Uh, well, something public yet subtle. Unmistakable, but also with a hint of plausible deniability. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about? Try that again, but don't sound like a fortune cookie. Go to social. Find someone complaining about your playing time. Like the tweet. Are you serious? You know how many amateur sleuths there are digging up dirt on social every day? If you like a tweet saying you should be getting more playing time, I guarantee you the public will pick it up, amplify it, and bring the situation to a head. Okay, so what does that accomplish, though? Well, it forces the issue out into the light. Now the coach has to answer questions from the press about why you're not playing. But don't he have to answer those questions anyway once they see the Perkins video? Kendrick Perkins says a lot of things. Not all of them are newsworthy. Okay. But... If what he says is backed up by you doing something like that, ooh, now we got a legitimate news story. And more than that, we've got a controversy, which is something no team wants. So if you want to get into the starting lineup as quickly as possible, this is the way to do it. And, and, and that's quicker than just going to the GM? The owner's going to hear about this. And when that happens, situations get rectified immediately. You really think this could work, huh?
no question. But there will be ramifications. The front office won't be happy. The perception of you as a team first guy is definitely going to take a hit. But maybe you're someone unafraid to speak their mind. <laughs> you know, a lot of forces have been made with that kind of brand positioning, huh? Mm. No front office wants controversy. It's just it's a lot of work to unwind. And since you're good enough to back this up, I might as well start you now and nip that controversy in the bud. So how do you want to play it? You don't have a preference? I'm here to provide you the menu, the pros and cons. In the end, it's up to you because you have to own it and live with the consequences. <laughs> okay, well. But I need to have an answer before you leave this room because if we're going to shape the narrative, we need to get out ahead of this now. Okay. I'm ready to go on TV tomorrow and call out coach. And by the way, this is ridiculous. How did I get stuck in the middle of this stupid okay. feud? All right, there'll be time for that. Let's start with social now. Okay, I'm with it. Where is that? What a tweet at so I can like it. Uh, <laughs> look, I love the enthusiasm, MP, but I don't have anything prepared. I'm sure you and Ricky can handle it. You guys are old pros at the social game. Just dig and find a tweet saying you should start and like it. The internet will take care of the rest. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Coach, she's back. Tell a friend. Yo, that was, that was cringe, coach. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of an Eminem guy. Don't really connect with the material. That's probably what you reacted to. Oh, man, it's good to see you. You know, it's, I feel good to have somebody back in my corner, especially somebody who know my game the way you do. Someone who helped build your game. No doubt. You definitely was a huge help. <laughs> good to see you, MP. So, Harvey, he got you back as my personal guru. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, I like the work I did with you, and I'm a Ooh, pretty good interview, cool. so here we are. All right, so I, I got a question for you. Uh-oh. Serious mode. Um, What's up? You know about Coach and Lester and all that stuff, right? Okay, what about it? Well, you know Coach on, like, a, a coach level, so what, what should I do? Or did he say anything to you? Well, nothing specific. Some offhanded stuff here or there, but, uh, you know, I know he wasn't thrilled about the whole YouTube thing, but he just wants to win. That's all he cares about. So if you put in the work, help us win, I guarantee you'll get playing time. Look, you know I'm not scared of no hard work. All right, well, good. Well, I spent some time, put together a plan. Okay. Some goals to keep you on track. You accomplish those goals, and you'll be in the starting lineup sooner rather than later. So I'm not starting. I know this isn't how you picture things playing out to start your career. But you give me everything you got, and you're going to earn a place in that starting lineup. And no one's going to stand in your way. Not Coach, not Harvey, not anyone. <laughs> you got me kind of fired up, Coach G. I like that. Yeah, well, I was listening to Meek Mill on the way to work today. Dreams and nightmares. Not bad. Gets the blood pumping. Hey, look, you're only about a decade late, but that's good for you. So that's we starting somewhere good. That's All good. right, you can go, kid. Good to see you. All right, good to see you too, coach. <laughs> Here we go, Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players right now? Oh, they are so pumped indeed. I mean... And here's MP. Hey, hey, yo, yo, From the wing, count the basket. Yes. Watching MP here, you can't help but think of his path to the NBA, Grant. A year at school, then spent time in the G League. NBA, that's not the usual way guys come into the league. But in terms of development, it could be the best choice for MP. Rosen with the ball, guarded by Olenek. Now, he doesn't have elite strength 
Now Chicago takes it the other way. I mean, every game against this team is so important. That's how it is in a divisional race. Wow. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Yeah, it's all about establishing the rhythm. I mean, you start to see it far, you begin to believe. Grant, the pass to MP. Sinks the tray. Prince has got five now. Man, this on the perimeter game, but you can see why after that sequence. Bradley sets a screen. Lays it up and banks. Here's Lee. Two on the clock. And Grant finishes it off. And so both teams trading. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Detroit. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for. The other leader for the Pistons, he said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Allie. No question. He's making a change here. Joseph's checked in. Over MP. Shot by Levine, no good. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Pass to Prince. Here's Cunningham. Hounded by Ball. Now here's Grant. From deep, MP. Fires in the triple. Here's Vucevic. On the wing, Levine. Fires the three. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feet. On the wing, Levine. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Back to Grant. Now here's Olenek, covered by Vucevic. Olenek passes to MP. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Range definitely helps stretch the floor. But he can also be an old-school menace down low, gobbling up rebounds and owning the paint. Ball's got five rebounds in the game. Vucevic with it, guarded by Olenek. And that one drops for him. And now just a three-point Detroit lead. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. From deep, MP. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal. And Ball outside. And he lobs it up top. Rebound Detroit. And so it's Detroit. Leading four. Your piston. 63. The ball. 57. Come on, fans. Come oh, I on. speak. On to the floor for the book. Three pointer Vucevic. And it's in. And now. Trust in his jumper. And now they just. The first free throw is good. And that'll put him up too. Four. Substitution. Zach Levine. Ball. Lonzo. Ball. And so he drops them both. 
And it's a three-point game. Question is, now can they protect the three-point lead he's given them? All right, Candace. Hi there, Candace Green. You really looked comfortable out there tonight. What was the biggest adjustment at this level? Well, first, it's good to meet you, Candace. Um, I have to say it's the speed of the game. Everyone's big and strong, and they close out so quickly. You just don't really have a lot of time to react. But fortunately, my teammates, they put me in good positions where I was able to just make easy plays. And so far, it worked out. Yeah, it did. How did you feel you performed in your first NBA action? You know, there's definitely room for improvement, but I'm happy. <laughs> I'm truly happy. I'm here to help this team, and I think I accomplished that goal tonight. It's just great to get my feet wet get the first game out the way and I'm sure I have a lot of a lot of messages when I get back to the locker room but for now I just got this behind me it's on to the next game great job see you in the next game thank you Candace all right Frank what do you got so it looked like you were hunting for threes at the expense of keeping the ball moving now can you comment on that a bit I'm, I'm not sure I see things the same way. Well, how, how do you mean, MP? Well, the, the team comes first. I shot the ball from deep tonight because I had the looks and I had the hot hands. If I didn't, I'd just as soon give those shots to someone else. The bottom line is winning, and that's all I care about. 